Pharmacologic management of diabetes mellitus. Insulin management of diabetes. Let's examine how insulin helps to manage diabetes mellitus. Insulin. Insulin is often used to treat diabetes mellitus. Clients with type 1 diabetes must receive insulin to live. The action of insulin. Let's look at each bulleted item to examine how insulin works. It stimulates the transportation of glucose across cell membranes. It converts glucose into glycogen for storage in the liver. It enhances storage of dietary fat in adipose tissue and inhibits the breakdown of fat into fatty acids. And it promotes protein synthesis in the muscle and inhibits protein breakdown. Remember that insulin performs the following functions. Transports glucose, stores fat, synthesizes protein, and converts glucose. Different types of insulin work at different speeds. Rapid acting. Lysepro, onset in 10 to 15 minutes. Peak in one hour, with a duration of three to four hours. S-part. Onset in 10 to 15 minutes, peak in 40 to 50 minutes, with a duration of 4 to 6 hours. Short acting. Regular, Novolin R, and Humulin R. Onset in 1 half to 1 hour, peak in 2 to 4 hours, with a duration of 6 to 8 hours. Semilent. Onset in 30 to 90 minutes, peak in 5 to 10 hours, with a duration of 12 to 16 hours. Intermediate acting. Lent or humulin L. Onset in 1 to 4 hours, peak in 7 to 15 hours, with a duration of 18 to 24 hours. NPH Humulin N and Novelin N. Onset in 60 to 90 minutes, peak in 4 to 12 hours, with a duration of 18 to 24 hours. Long acting. Ultralent. Onset in 4 to 8 hours, peak in 10 to 30 hours, with a duration of 36 hours. Glargine. Onset in 1 hour, peak is continuous with a duration of 24 hours. Other injectable medications. In this activity, you will examine drugs used to control glucose that are given by injection, but are not insulin. These mimic hormones or synthetic forms of hormones found in your body. These hormones work with insulin to control your blood sugar. Let's look at each hormone to learn its role in glucose control. Amylin, made by the pancreas slows the movement of food through the stomach and intestines, helps keep glucose to be stored in the liver by preventing a rise in glucagon, controls appetite in the brain. Insulin unlocks the numerous receptor doors on the surface of the cell. Glucose can enter the cell when the door is opened. GLP-1 molecules made in the intestines slows the movement of food from the stomach to the intestines. This means sugar will be absorbed more gradually. Stimulates the pancreas to make insulin when sugar is present. Helps the liver store and release sugar in a controlled way. Controls appetite in the brain. Bietta. Bietta is the first drug in the new classification of incretin mimetic. It mimics GLP-1. It is given by injection to type 2 diabetics with an injection pen. It is given by subcutaneous injection one hour before breakfast and supper. It can be used in conjunction with oral medications. Bietta mimics GLP-1. When the blood sugar is elevated, it promotes the pancreas to make more insulin. It can help keep the liver store and release glucose in a controlled way. It slows gastric emptying.
it may reduce appetite and the amount of food eaten. Simlin Simlin is a synthetic form of the hormone amylin. It can be used by type 1 or type 2 diabetic individuals, given at mealtime by injection with a pre-filled pen. Actions Food moves through stomach slower, the liver releases less glucose, and the brain thinks you're full sooner at meals. Oral Agents for Treating Diabetes Some diabetic clients are treated with oral medications, but all oral medications are not alike. Sulfonylureas are the oldest type of oral agents with two generations of drugs. Sulfonylureas have two actions that are beneficial when you consider the pathology of type 2 diabetes. Sulfonylureas are also known as oral hypoglycemics because they can cause hypoglycemia. Sulfonylureas perform the following two actions. They stimulate the release of insulin from the pancreas. They increase the sensitivity to insulin at receptor sites. This is done by increasing the degree of binding or increasing the number of receptors. Let's see their actions. There are many sulfonylureas. First generation include thorpropamide, tolanzamide, and tolbutamide. Second generation includes glimepiride, glipizide, and gliburide. Metformin is also known as glucophage. It is a drug in the classification of biguanides. Metformin has three actions. Let's look at each action below to see it illustrated. It decreases hepatic production of glucose. It decreases intestinal absorption of glucose. and it increases sensitivity to insulin. Prandin. Prandin is also known as repanglinide. It is a drug in the classification meglitinide. Remember that prandin is taken when a person dines. Reasons prandin should be taken with meals. It simulates the release of insulin from pancreatic beta cells. A client must have functional beta cells to take this drug. The onset of action is within 30 minutes, so hypoglycemia can occur if food is not taken after the client takes Prandin. If a meal is skipped, the dose of Prandin should also be skipped. Starlix. Starlix is also a megalitonide. It requires functioning beta cells. It is taken 1 to 30 minutes before the meal and not while the client is eating. Food will delay the absorption. The drug stimulates the release of insulin from the pancreas and can cause hypoglycemia. If a meal is skipped, the dose of Prandin should also be skipped. Thiazolidine diones. Two drugs that have a brand name beginning with an A belong to this class, Avandia and Actos. There is another anti-diabetic agent that starts with an A, that does not belong to this class, amaryl. It is a sulfonylurea. Hint, note that both amaryl and sulfonylurea have a YL in them. The A drug with the YL does not belong in the thiazolidine diones class. Actose and avandia enhance insulin action at the receptor sites in muscle and fat tissue without increasing insulin secretion. Because insulin secretion is not stimulated, these drugs work without causing hypoglycemia. The most significant but rare side effect of these drugs is liver damage. Liver function studies should be done regularly. Alpha-glucosidases. The two alpha-glucosidases are Precos and Glycet. These drugs slow the digestion and absorption of carbohydrates within the intestine. They do this by inhibiting enzymes in the intestinal tract, which delays the digestion of the carbohydrates. The prolonged digestion time leads to a lower postprandial blood glucose level. DPP-4 inhibitor. Junuvia is the only drug in a new classification of oral antidiabetic medication. 
It works by preventing the breakdown of a naturally occurring compound in the body, GLP-1. Normally, GLP-1 reduces blood glucose levels in the body, but is broken down very quickly, so it does not work well when injected as a drug itself. GLP-1 has several actions that can lower blood sugar, including stimulating insulin production. Because Genuvia interferes with the process that breaks down GLP-1, it allows the GLP-1 to remain active in the body longer. GLP-1 is one of the post-potent stimulators of insulin release. The more available, the more insulin is available. You can learn more about GLP-1 in the injectable medications section. DPP-4 inhibitor. Basically, Genuvia allows naturally occurring substances to work longer. This results in increased insulin synthesis and release, allowing for better uptake of glucose by peripheral tissues. Decreased glucagon, resulting in decreased glucose production by the liver. After food ingestion, incretin hormones are released into the intestine as a result of glucose stimulation. Genuvia inhibits DPP-4 enzymes, maintaining levels of active incretins. Congratulations! You have completed this activity, Pharmacologic Management of Diabetes Mellitus.